Hello everyone, and today what I'm going to show you is a neat little Google Chrome extension called uBlock Origin. What uBlock Origin does is do um, hides or deletes ads from websites as you're visiting them. Um, it's also useful for like, YouTube, it blocks videos at the beginning of YouTube videos. So I thought I'd, I'd show you a little comparison and what this does and how it works. So this is the website you would go to to download it. You can go to the Chrome Web Store and just search uBlock Origin. Note there are two different ones, um, but I'm recommending uBlock Origin. And then you would just click Add to Chrome right here. So note this only works in Google Chrome, uh, so that's what we're looking at today. So here's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. So here's typing.com, and then here's typing.com. All right, This one has uBlock Origin installed, so you'll notice you don't see any ads. There's not stuff coming across here or other things here. But when you don't have uBlock Origin on, you can see all these different ads are appearing, all right? which can be kind of distracting for students. So just simply adding that on deleted all that kind of junk that's floating around here. All right, so let's look at like a news article. Here is a New York Times article uh, talking about a uh, the leap day, because it's today, the day I'm doing this video. So you see it's pretty much just a simple article, kind of nice and clean and not too messy. But this is with uBlock Origin. If you didn't have uBlock Origin, you see the big ad comes on here. There's actually ads appearing over on the side, over this way and just kind of a lot more mess. So it kind of simplifies uh, news articles for students instead of having all that junk appearing. So kind of nice, neater, and cleaner uh, look. A lot less distracting for students. Now on YouTube, here's a little YouTube here, and YouTube over on this side. Now I tried to get a YouTube video that was actually playing an ad beforehand, uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't get it to do that. Um, go figure. But you can see here there's all kinds of different ads and other stuff that's coming on here. But on this one, I do not get that mess. All right, uh, this one actually has an ad that plays like halfway through the video. I think right over this way. Oh, of course now it doesn't show up. Oh, there the little thing came up. Uh, here's some ads that sometimes appear during the video. This one, on the other hand, won't do that. So you know what we'll do? We'll set this one up here. Set this guy up over here. We'll see if we get the ad up here on the other one here. It's always good when you can't get something to work. Um, but this one, for example, didn't have uh, the ad didn't show up, but over here, and you can see actually this one had the little ad appear right at the end. This one actually blocked that ad from loading. So really kind of cool. Um, it's a simple extension that you can add. Um, you can actually, if you're a Google administrator, you can push that out to all your students' Chromebooks. So it's just automatically installed. They don't have to know it's actually doing anything. Um, but it's a nice little simple extension. Like I said, here it is. You can see in my uh, extensions, the uBlock origin. So you can actually turn it off sometimes if you had to. But I can see like right here, it's actually blocking uh, a bunch of different little ads that are already going on there. So nice, simple, free ad. Something I highly recommend and perfect for any teacher.